Good morning. Good morning, Discovery, and welcome to Titan TV News. I'm Jackie. And I'm Ryan. During the month of February, we observed Black History Month, where we celebrated in, uh, the accomplishments and contributions made by many African Americans. Student reporter Enzo Ramirez Lopez has a clip on one familiar person. Willard Christopher Smith Jr., better known as Will Smith, was born on September 25, 1968, in West Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. As early as 12 years old, Will Smith began to rap, but it wasn't until he was 16 that his career as a rapper would take off by being part of the duo DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. The difference between this duo from other rappers was that they rapped about teen life without the use of cursing. This made many people start to enjoy rap music. In 1988, the duo won the first ever Grammy Award for the best rap performance with their album He's the DJ, I'm the Rapper. After two years, Smith began to do his crossover from rapper to actor. His first major role was on the NBC sitcom The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Smith later made his crossover to movies. 1995's Bad Boys was where he was recognized for his outstanding acting on the big screen. After the success of Bad Boys, Smith landed roles in various movies, including Men in Black. Why you running, huh? I'm still standing. Come on, bring it. Come on, bring it. But 2001's Ali gave Will Smith his first Academy Award nomination. The champ is here. I look like a butterfly, sing like a bee. Rumble, young man, rumble. Ah! And later, his performance in The Pursuit of Happiness gave him his second Academy Award nomination for Best Actor, who was alongside his son, Jaden Smith. Hey. Don't ever let somebody tell you you can't do something. After a few years, Smith returned to the big screen for Men in Black 3 and After Earth. But just last year, Will Smith was the leading role in Focus and Concussion, which earned him a Golden Globe no nomination. Repetitive head trauma chokes the brain. But don't worry, we'll be seeing Will Smith again on the big screen this upcoming August in the film Suicide Squad. You may have also noticed that Will Smith has been in the public eye a lot lately because he believes there is a lack of diversity in this year's Oscars nominations, causing him to make the decision of not attending this year. From his early days as the Fresh Prince to a man who stands up for what he believes, ladies and gentlemen, that is Will Smith. The movie Ray starring Stephon James recently hit the theaters and it was based on the world champion track and field star Jesse Owens. Stu student athlete Robert Henry enlightens us on why the track star is so influential. Jesse Owens was born on September 12, 1913. <laughs> was a American track and field athlete and four-time Olympic 
gold medalist. Owen specialized in the sprints and the long jump and was recognized in his lifetime as perhaps the greatest and most famous athlete in track and field history. His achievements of setting three world records and trying another in less than an hour at the 1935 Big Ten track meet. 100 Meter Ausscheidungsläufe. Amerikas schnellster Läufer, Jesse Owens, ist am Start. He was the most successful athlete at the game and single-handedly crushed Hitler's myth of Aryan superiority. The Jesse Owens Award in the U.S. Track and Field Highest Accord for the Year Best Track and Field Athlete. Owens was ranked by ESPN as the sixth greatest North American athlete of the 20th century and highest ranked in sports. Track season is at full speed and the Titan track and field team hosted its first track meet February 24th. The girl team came in fifth place. Overall, the boys team came in fourth overall with, the, with Judah Smith, which came in third overall in the girls 400, and Robert Henry, who came in third in the 110 hurdles overall. And also Jalen Stevens, who came in second overall in the 200 and the 4x4 girls in second overall with Jalen Keese, the boys high jump was the first overall and Israel Olu was was second in third place overall with Krinovic Mukulu in first place and boys shock put overall the next few meets for the Titans are this Saturday March 5th at Central Gwinnett High School March 12th at Lambert High School in Swanee Georgia and March 19th at the Southern Crescent Stadium in Jonesboro Georgia Titans, if you can come out, please come cheer on your Titans. Titans play Burkmart tonight at Discovery, and tickets are only $4 for students. Girls start at 5.30, and boys start at 7.30. Make sure you be here to support your Titans. While you're at the game, please come purchase some of our um, food and stuff. Yeah. Titans, if you see any of the soccer players, please also purchase a scarf from them. It will only cost $20. Discovery Dance Department presents Discovery Can Dance Student Choreography Contest. In the theater. The show, the show tickets takes place wait, on Friday, March 18th at 3.30 p.m. and 7 p.m. in the theater. Tickets are $3 in advance and $5 at the door and will go on sale Monday, March 14th. Tickets can be purchased from Dr. Kirkland in room 500 or during all lunches. Please come out to support the dance talent that Discovery High School has to showcase. Spirit Club photos will be taken Tuesday between 3 and 8 after school. Spirit Club members need to wear their Almighty Titan Spirit Club shirt. And if you do not have the shirt, please at least wear some Titan wear. There will be a cheerleading parent informational meeting March 8th at 6.30 in the DHS Theater. Please see Coach Copeland if you have any questions. Congratulations to the host of students. The organization of students in the Health Sciences Pathway. pathway. Who wants to become future professionals? And they completed this past Sunday through Tuesday, Sunday through Tuesday in the Hostess State Leadership Conference at the Atlanta Marriott Marquise Hotel. 
The competition had over 4,000 competitors and all across the state of Georgia. And our team scored in the top 10 for biomedical debate, CPR, and first aid, medical innovations, and public service. Here's a video the PSA team made about the importance of physical activity. Grandma, what did you do to live so long and be healthy? Well, sweetie, when I was a youngster, I used to be very physically active. We used to run and play soccer. Students will be wearing Maroon Hosa t-shirts today, so please congratulate them when you see them. Also, after winning the state competition, Discovery High School senior Ajaya Kennedy will be moving on to the Nationals for a PTSA reflection competition. Teen Tech Week is next week, and the library is celebrating with some techie activities and create crafting during all lunches next week. Don't forget to stop by the Media Center to sign up as space is limited. If you are interested in playing softball next year, please plan on attending on a, meet, a meeting on Tuesday, March 8, 2016 at 2.20 p.m. in room 311. There will, be, there, will also be being, there will also be conditioning following the meeting, so wear appropriate workout clothes and shoes. Bring a sweatshirt if it's cold outside and see Coach Broadnax in room 311 if there are any other questions. Also, if you are interested in volleyball, please see Coach Ladson in room 324. Discovery recently hosted its first Black History Month program this past February. This event showcased many historic African-American stories while using the talents of students from Discovery and throughout Gwinnett County. We have a special thank you video from the coordinator of this event, Ms. Lewis. I come to you this morning to thank our Titan Nation for stepping up and rising up to the call of duty and helping us to celebrate a wonderful and successful Black History Month production. First and foremost, to our former principal, Mr. Campbell, for approving this idea and this vision to carry on such a wonderful production. And Dr. Taylor, thank you to you for stepping right in and showing us what true leadership looks like and helping us to see this uh, accomplishment through. To our many teachers, our administrative staff, our cluster principals from Bagot, Benefield Elementary, and Richards Middle School, we thank you for joining us and, and holding hands with us to make this successful. We also thank Kahoot for sponsoring our wonderful t-shirt prizes for our games, Universal Circus, and how could I possibly forget our wonderful cast and crew of students tour guides, clubs that have all partnered in, our academies to make this a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful event. And we look forward to so many more future events coming along. Our academies, we thank you for our morning announcements and our advisory council members. We thank you for your donation and the community support. Once again, Titan Nation, thank you for a wonderful Black History Month celebration and we look forward to seeing you there again next year. Hello, my name is Aminato Meite, and I won first place of the Many Faces of Me 3D Art Contest. I, want, I would like to say thank you to all the people that came out and supported the Many Faces of Me event. And I'd also like to say, I'd also like to give a big shout out to Ms. Matekis for giving me the opportunity to join the art contest. And second place for the 3D contest, we had Jaquan Lambeau in third place, 
is Delancey Goins for the 2D contest. First place is Jalen King, and coming in second place is Jaron Priestley, and lastly in third place is Tan Nguyen. That's all we have for today, everyone. Make sure to join us next week right here on Titan TV. I'm your host, Ryan Lewis. And I'm Jackie Mendez, and thanks for watching. Tighten up. All right now, mama. Come on now. Now tighten it up.